Ticket number one is complete. And ultimately, for episode two, we are now going to move on to our second ticket of level one, which is called Plain Dirty. And where we can basically choose any vehicle we want under the event restrictions. As of which, we are now limited from this point onwards in terms of the ve the vehicles we can use. So for this event, we can only use a racing truck, even though we can basically use any truck we want. And the event is called Judgment Day, which I think as far as I know is also the name of a Terminator movie. Or at least to those of you who are familiar, of course, with Arnold Schwarzenegger, you probably do know very well that Judgment Day is, of course, the name of a Terminator film. And the venue we're heading to is called Coyote Rage, and we can only use a racing truck. So, already showed off the choices in which we can use to start off the game, and already we have, of course, unlocked our first vehicle, which I think, as far as I know, is a... Uh, Racing truck. Yeah. So, the truck which we have unlocked is called the Voodoo Iguana, and well, I'm not going to use that yet, so... I think for this, I'm going to choose one of the trucks we can start with, and that is ultimately going to be the Castro Robusto. Yeah, why not? This will work. Coyote Rage is a real nerve shredder, compact and unpredictable. It's the whole motor storm experience into one patch of dirt and rock. It gets crowded. Wipe your brow and hit the rage. Hmm. Well, I can definitely say that is a uh, consensual cross-reference towards how much rage I think there is going to be on this circuit. But anyways, here we go. So, we have an interesting choice here, as of which we've got some mud, some mud pluggers along with some buggies, and we also have a big rig along with some quad bikes. This is now attempt number two. We've already qualified, of course, for the next event, but obviously I do, of course, need to uh, try and win this race to get 100%, because obviously I have to go for perfection in terms of overall completion. So, we actually had a pretty positive end to what was more or less a dismal race, to say the least. I did manage to fight back and reach the podium, which is a good thing, but now it's just going to be dependent on knowing if I can manage to win the race. I've got some points on the board already, so it could probably be a matter of time before I manage to win this race, and maybe I'll be able to use the adoption strategy that I used in Cars Mater National Championship, where I basically scored the points, but yet ultimately got some points on the board first hand and then eventually managed to uh, plug my way into winning the race by basically getting the spare points that were available to me. And the start of this race has actually been much better, so I think it's fair to say I know exactly what is the preferred racing line for this race. Or so I hear. I have the adherence to know which probably is the best line to take to ultimately get around this circuit, because I will not be stuck in the mud and hit some debris there, but that doesn't matter because I did not hit the car body that was at the side of the hut and 
up to this point, I am now up into the lead as we now begin the final lap here at Coyote Rage. This is attempt number two, and hopefully, if it is possible, and I can get my shit together for this final lap, then I should be able to achieve a win. And the rest of the competition is currently behind me, so it doesn't appear as though anyone is going to be challenging me for the win. It basically looks as though I am going to stay out in the lead and hopefully hold on to take the win. So no one is challenging me. Looks as though this is going to be an easy win as I slide through the mud. And there we go. I win on attempt number two by pretty much four and a half seconds, or thereabouts. All I need to do now is just focus on my thumbnail shot, because I need to have that juicy, juicy clickbait. Really got to provide the Uchi Gucci for my thumbnail shots, if you can call them that. Also, we had a total of 12 opponents in this race. Yeah, by the way, the total number of opponents in a single race can also tend to alternate. I think the maximum we can have for one race is 15, and the minimum is about 11, I think. Okay, I think that should do it. So in the end... I win the Judgment Day event by over 4 seconds ahead of Angel Pie, and Candy Buzzbomb finishes off the podium with the first of the motorcycles. And then for the rest of the top 10, we had Mick Hocking ahead of, I ahead of Ivan McCloskey, followed by Scully, Chod Chodder, Joe Cash, Lucky Jack Flynn and Willie Wilson rounding off the top 10 and the rest of the finishing order we had Robbie T in the I think sole mud plugger and then at the back we had the chairman in the last of the buggies our second event is done and I must admit I do actually like the way that engine sounds it's actually pretty interesting. And we have now unlocked our third event as a result of this. And we've also unlocked another new vehicle, which is interesting. So I think we've unlocked a new ticket as far as I know. And ultimately, there we go. Our first event on ticket number two is done. And next time, we shall be doing our third event, which is called The Squall, and where we will again be using a truck. But as to which one, you will just have to wait and see. Anyways, on to the next one.